Do you ever wake up and just think, I might be watching a movie? I do. Like a Hollywood script is unfolding before my eyes. Well, I think that might be the case. I think we might be onto something. Every time we turn on the news, something just doesn't seem right. Everyone's just a little too interested in making you afraid. There's a mass shooting. It's always the same thing, right? It's, it's a lone gunman that had emotional problems. Never saw it coming. No, it's not his fault because he's a product of our environment. So we need to get to the point, which is the gun. And that just happens to be the one thing they say, don't let go of the Ebola virus. Put it into perspective, uh, how, much, how much noise the Ebola virus made in the US. Couldn't turn on the TV without it. OJ Simpson, allegedly, killed twice as many Americans as the Ebola virus. And here's the coronavirus. Guess what? Corona with Lyme disease. I gotta give Big Bear credit for that one. Or wherever he got it from. The thing is, if you watch wrestling, and you watch, like, say, Alex Jones, and I call him Bill Hicks because that's who he is, Alex Jones and Joe Rogan go against each other. Those guys are like close friends, and I already knew that. They have the same manager and all that stuff. So, but the good thing is, it's like we're watching the result of way too many episodes of the same show. Like a show that's gone on, you know, a few seasons too long. Rocky 12, you know? And it's good. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a uh, a situation where people are just normally smart. People are going, really? And they're getting lazy. Okay? We are at a spot where we can decide whether or not we're going to put up with this crap. We can decide. Will we? I don't know. I don't even have an answer as to how a society with billions of people uprises against a few thousand, if that. I don't even know how that works because I'm definitely not uh, calling for, you know, picking up arms and, and going and overthrowing anything. Let me make that clear. What I do think is if, if you want to overthrow this particular class it's not with a gun it's disarming them with their power and their power is money that's why they want us on bitcoin instead of uh, the physical money and gold I mean, it's been a slow process but they call it a progressive movement for a reason so it's baby steps but they want to be able to flip a switch and decide whether or not you're going to be able to get to work today or not so they can control your life. And I think we're waking up to that. It's I, To me, it's good news. So, But the best thing I think we can do is look to your left, look to your right, look ahead, look up, look down, and own your physical area. If your child is sitting next to you, make sure they know they love you. If your spouse is in your, your home, under your roof, give her the extra kiss and hold her. And I'm, I'm guilty of not doing that. And that's one of the reasons why this is the, the subject matter of this. But I think the way they win is to separate us from our physical reality and they make us live in fear. They make us look at a TV and that's how our state of mind goes about its day, so to speak. So I'm going to make this short and, uh, and just leave you with my thoughts. And I need to adhere to this myself. What is important? 
Maybe it's not what they tell you on the news.